Okay, in this video we're gonna finish with work on Pythagoras' theorem and then in the next video we're gonna start working on trigonometry which is the main topic of the series. So in this video we're just gonna look at how we can use Pythagoras' theorem in 3D shapes because in the last videos we've only applied it to shapes in two dimensions and the method for applying Pythagoras to 3D shapes basically is to just split them up into a triangle so in the first example here I've got a cuboid and he has all the different points on the cuboid A, B, C, D, A, F, G, H and then we've got these lengths here and we've got to find AC which is this length coming across here so we're going to make a triangle to do that so we're going to have 8 centimeters because that's there and then the 12 centimeters is there so we've got the points A B and C and we want to find AC so this is what we we'll do, just as before, 8 squared plus 12 squared, 64 plus 144, which we'll get 208. And then we'll take the square root of that. So AC is the square root of 208. And then we want to find this length here, B, G. So we're going to make another triangle for that. So we've got, for this triangle, we've got B. Then we've got C. Then we've got G up here. We want to find this length, B, G. So we've got 12 centimeters and this one here has five if you cannot read that that's five so that's five centimeters and then we're gonna add these two up and this is a nice one that we're like in Pythagoras' theorem because we're gonna get a nice square number To say the work now seems very nice. So that's a, called a pipe figures triplet where we've got three perfect squares. I'm going to remember that one if you can. So the next one. We're going to find is this length here B, E. So we're going to make another triangle here. E, B, E. So we've got 8 centimetres along the bottom and 5 centimetres going up. So we've got right angles here. So that's 5 squared plus 8 squared. That's 25 plus 81, which we'll just add these up and we'll get 100, that's 64, 8 squared 64, not 81, so then we get not, a hundred, not over 100, we'll get only 99 now 89 
89. So it's the square root of 89. Whatever that turns out to be. And then the last one. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show you what we've got here. So. We've got that one as 203. So basically you've got this triangle here, with this length on the bottom AC being the square root of 208, whatever that is, and this length going up here, which is 5, and then you can figure out this length for AJ, I'm not going to do that one, because we're running out of time, so I'll just show you what we do. Next one, we'll just find these lengths, but it's in a pyramid, and you need to be careful on this one just because this length here is the middle. So, to the middle from one point here is only 4 centimeters, not 8. So, first of all, we're going to find AC, so that's just a square. That's just the base. That's the base of the pyramid. We want to find the AC. So I've broken this up into a 2D shape. Because this, the base is a square, we're going to have both of them made squared. So that's going to be 64 plus 64, which is 128. So that's the square root of 128 at length. Yeah. And this last one AX I'll just leave you to do because I'm running out of time a bit. So basically just to find AX all you would have to do is split this length up here into four. So you'd have this triangle here, so you'd have 4, on the bottom, because we're coming from, no you'd have half of this. You'd have half of this square root of 128, whatever that turned out to be. So your length would be that. You can figure that out in your calculator. And then you'd have this length going up diagonally, which is 9. And you'd take the bigger one, the smaller one away from the bigger one, find that. And the last one, you've just got this triangle here, which you could use because we know this length and we know that one's full. So for this one you'd have full because that's the midpoint in between this length which we know is 8 centimeters, and we know that these ones are 9. So we'd do 9 squared minus 4 squared, that's 81. Minus 16, which we get 65. So that's the square root of 65. Is that length there? This one's the square root of 65. Then the last one, we just want to quickly prove this formula here. And I haven't really got much time, but I can just quickly do it. This is clear some space. Okay, so I want to prove that this formula here is true. And D is the square root of A squared plus B squared plus C squared for a cuboid. And basically, all we're going to do is we're going to just do a quick sketch.
the longest one's this one here, yeah, so I want to find the age that you want to show that this is equal to that. So on the bottom we've got a triangle A, B, C, and the normal Pythagoras, we've got A, then B, then C, yeah, 